Hello my dear doctors, welcome to the Dr. Toya's Quick Learning Bite and in today's Anatomy Quick Learning Bite, we are actually going to study about the cranial foramen. It is one of the hot favorite topic in the exams and I am actually going to show you with the help of the cranium why because nowadays we are giving image based questions and that to the cadaveric images. So in this cranium, the most important one is the foramen ovale which has been asked n number of times in your exam. So this is the cranial cavity divided into the three cranial fossa, the anterior cranial fossa, the middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa. And in the middle cranial fossa, you are able to appreciate the three foramens here, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale and the foramen spinosum. Out of this, the foramen ovale is very much important. And we know very well in the foramen ovale, the structures which are going to pass from here, we remember with the mnemonic as nail. M stands for the mandibular nerve which is going to pass from here. A stands for accessory meningeal artery, which is going to enter into the cranium from here. L for lesser petrosal nerve. And finally, E stands for emissary veins. I repeat again, the mandibular nerve, accessory meningeal artery, lesser petrosal nerve, and then emissary veins. So male structures are going to pass through oval. And apart from that, just behind this one, you're able to appreciate one more foramen, that is foramen spinosum. And from there, there will be nervous spinosus along with the middle meningeal artery and it's extremely important why because nervous spinosus and the middle meningeal artery are the one which are chief artery and the chief nerve supplied to the dura mater and apart from that if there is a rupture of middle meningeal artery it leads to epidural hemorrhage so please remember about these two foramens not only remembering the structures passing from them you have to even be able to identify them guys all the best all the best for your preparation